The land was uh, purchased by my grandfather, um, Leonardo Giuseppe, in 1945. He operated the dairy for a period of time and in the early 50s convinced two of his sons uh, to come out to the dairy, move out there, and uh, help him run it. Um, he passed away in 1959, and um, my father and his sister, Violet, uh, decided to take over. They bought out the two brothers, and uh, Aunt Violet, Aunt Sis, um, did the books, and my dad ran the dairy. Friends that worked at the sanitation department, they was told that he could uh, take some of the property that was six months out of the year was underwater, uh, raise it 10 feet, and then uh, in seven years, he could build houses on it. Well, at that time, my dad was, you know, struggling to keep the dairy open, much less uh, do anything else. So he thought it was a great idea. DOT came along and purchased a right-of-way right through the middle. It left 200 acres on one side of the dairy uh, of, of the interstate and 90 acres on the other side. Uh, so basically, he closed the dairy down. With the environmental and the landfill and everything else, it made it not only extremely difficult, but virtually impossible to sell. So there's this term that's used about the highest and best use. Uh, at some point, after 25 or 30 other people come that tried, um, there was this fellow named Brad Olashansky that came along and said, I have an idea. From day one, it was a huge vision and a huge project that never had been tried before, at least not that I'm aware of. And um, personally, I thought that if anybody could pull it off, especially with the experience he had had, um, it, would be, it would be bread. The concept was to take 200 acres of agricultural land and turn it into this big mixed use car-focused project. It's something that, uh, in my experience in Hillsborough County, hadn't been done before. Uh, and it was going to take a fair amount of creativity uh, and persistence uh, to work with both community leaders, county staff, uh, elected officials, to really put a package together that was approvable, uh, that was um, creative enough uh, and that fit into um, the Hillsborough County Code uh, such that it would um, be able to be entitled with everything that Brad and the designers wanted and needed for this project to be successful. Because of this, this nature of the project, um, it's, it's kind of like a residential project, but it's not a residential project. It's kind of like a garage building, storage building, but it's not a garage storage building. It's it's a unique, it's a unique uh, project type and doesn't fit cleanly in the code. So this is something that we, Brad and I worked really closely with um, the county. We met with the fire marshal, the building officials. We, we met with a, a lot of different parties to introduce the the, the project concept and, and try to develop uh, a plan for implementing applicable code sections to this and, and to make sure that this thing would be um, received and approved by the county. So it was it was an ongoing process that uh, evolved over time, but it, it was something that was definitely uh, a hurdle to work through because it does not fit cleanly in the code. I think the challenge that the staff had is that this was such a unique project. There wasn't a model. There wasn't something that they could utilize, hey, we've done this before. So this was brand new territory, uncharted territory that they were looking into. Brad was really a good guy to deal with. I mean, you, you could tell his heart was in it. He had, he had a vision, he had a mission, 
and he wasn't going to let it go. And then I thought, he has no idea what he's going to have to deal with, with this project, with the county. I just, I knew it, and I didn't know it would be as difficult as it was. I cannot believe the infrastructure that he's put in place here. I just can't even believe it. But he did. He got it done. I don't know too many people. I don't know anybody else that I could do what he's done. When I heard the concept, I immediately said, I got to meet this guy. When I met him, it became a lot more noticeable to me that he was out of his mind. There's nothing in the imagination that could ever make you think that it would go from what it was, a 200 acre open forest, to what it is now. I think the event center was always part of the picture. I think it was always part of the business. Uh, you know, basically you're 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 developing a a, a property and you're selling it. Um, it no different than uh, you know a golf course where you have houses around the golf course and and until you're a member of the club and then you pay your greens fees. Um, this is the same kind of a thing. One of the things that's unique about it though is the the large balcony area that overlooks the track. Um, and when there's track events going on, it's a really unique vista that you have looking right down the straightaway. And it's really a, a, an environment that is really kind of cool for those people that enjoy vehicles. Um, the interior is kind of an industrial chic. It's, uh, it's not like your typical event hall. Um, they tend to be a little more traditional, colonial, or sometimes gaudy. But uh, this, this one that happens to be uh, unique in, in its flavor that it's, it tends to be more of a, like I said, a, a, a industrial chic, if you want to call it that. The vision that he has and the grit that he has, that he's gotten it done is to me, it's like the impossible, the impossible dream and he's made it come true. I think it's way beyond anybody's real imagination, except for Brad. I think he was thinking this the whole time. But he hits, he had it in his mind's eye. I was looking at the track and I was looking, I knew we'd have other entertainment opportunities with these other two tracks, but it's outrageous what it actually has become. Wow, we're finally at the finish line. And look at this place, it's spectacular. But it's not about all the buildings and the track and the other features. It's about the people and their passion and the community we're building for everyone to enjoy for many, many years to come. <laughs>